Hello everyone, so it's been a while since I've done one of these videos, so I'm also going to do something new that I haven't done before. This is going to be my first unboxing video. These are from the Spice House. I am not sponsored. They are giving me no money for this. This is just my honest to God opinion. Also, I have not seen the inside contents of this. This is also the Middle East collection. I also got another one, but that'll be in the next video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So I've gotten stuff from this company before. So it's over, I know it's already a really good company, but I really, really like the packaging because they take a lot of care with their stuff. Apparently in the pack there is a Zatar Israeli blend, Ra's al Hanu uh, Moroccan blend, Sumac, and a Shwarma, which is a, and Shwarma, which is a Lebanese blend. First up, we're just going to go down the list with the Zatar Israeli blend. Ooh. It smells like thyme. It has a really good smell to it though. Like it's, if I had to describe the smell, it would be thyme with a little bit of lemon, like a lemon smell to it. That's really like, ooh, that's actually really good. It's very earth, earthy. It's really, really good, but it doesn't have like a really strong spice or like flavor profile to it. I, I would use that like as like a base to something else a little bit more. Okay, so <laughs> I promise I did not read this before I filmed this, but literally, apparently, Zatar is Arabic for thyme, which will explain why it smells like thyme. And it's also mixed with lemony sumac, hence the lemon. Wow, that's actually kind of funny. Um, it also has nutty sesame, minty hyssop, and oregano. Oh, I can, I can, I can smell that right now as well. Spray it on a pita with olive oil, sprinkle it on root vegetables, meatballs, kebabs for a great dip. Okay, so it is meant to be like more just like a general additive to increase <clears throat> for an already basic flavor. Comment anything that you want to see any of these in, and I'll try and make it. Okay, next up, I believe is the Razal Hanu. I think it's how you pronounce that. Okay, it already has like a yellowish color to it, so I'm assuming it has like a turmeric base. Oh, that has a much stronger smell to it. <coughs> I can't quite place what... I think it definitely does have a turmeric smell to it. And that yellow coloration is kind of hard to miss. But that smells really good, but it smells very potent. It has, an, it has more of a stronger aftertaste. It has turmeric, pepper, cardamom, nutmeg, sea salt, ginger, mace, and allspice. So I was right on the turmeric, but I would not have guessed. And I can kind of see the nutmeg only because it has like that nutmeg texture because it's, nutmeg's kind of earthy, but I can also see this being like really, really good for you, like being easy on the stomach and nutmeg is a, is a digestant. Arabic for top of the shop. This ancient Moroccan blend is rich, colorful, and aromatic. I can see that. Built for flavoring, grilled, lamb, Tajines and couscous. Ooh, this would be really good in couscous. Next up would be the sumac. Ooh, and it literally it says it's just sumac and salt, and, I'm, and salt is preservative. Oh, well, that's weird. That's really weird. It almost smells like. It almost smells like barbecue. What is this? Oh, there's a lot of lemon in there. <clears throat> Maybe like it's because like there's a, like a lot of like lemon and marinades and stuff like with barbecue, but as a whole, it smells like barbecue. That's weird. This tart lemony red spice is harvested from shrubs in the Middle East and is traditionally sun dried. This version from Turkey is cured with salt to develop notes of sour cherry. I can see that and cranberry. I can see that too. It is excellent on kebabs. Interestingly, its use gave rise to the tradition. You have this to thank for pink lemonade. Interesting. This tastes really good. It has a really strong lemon flavor to it, but it's, the smell is what's throwing me off. And last but not least, the shawarma seasoning, which this is a Lebanese blend. It smells like a chili. I'm gonna say uh, coriander, lemon, 
pepper, and some sort of chili. It has to have some sort of spice to it. Maybe on the coloration it also has turmeric. We'll see. Coriander, sumac, cumin. I can definitely see the cumin. Uh, cinnamon, cardamom, pepper, turmeric. All spice and cloves. Okay. Now let's taste it. That would be a really good additive. Um, I'm definitely going to need to have to add this to chili. This would be really, really good. I don't know... I think this would just be an all-around really good additive to anything that just needs a little bit more kick. Okay, let's see what it says. Shawarma is now internationally popular style of meat preparation favored by Arabic street vendors. It's chicken, goat, fish, or lamb marinated in... Oh... Yep, lamb marinated in seasoning and roasted on a vertical spit. Uh, don't have a spit at home. Marinate your favorite cuts in the shawarma blend for a crowd-pleasing homemade version. That's actually a really good point I didn't think of. I'm excited to try that out because I have yet to have anything from that company that I haven't enjoyed. I'll make sure to put a link in the description below so that way it's easily findable. As a whole, I know it's a little bit different than my Spice Lab videos, even though there's only one. Um, but thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all learned something and will learn something new in the next video.